Hey y'all, I'm Lisa and welcome to Our Gray House. DIY number one. I'm taking some bamboo skewers that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just cutting them down to all about, roughly about the same size. And of course, Captain's helping me. Now one thing to note about bamboo skewers is they are not all uniform. Some of them are warped, some of them are, are split a little bit, so you just gotta make sure that the ones that you're using are gonna work for your project. And I'm trying to get them all lined up so that I can add some painter's tape because I figured adding a piece of tape across, well, I'm actually gonna end up adding three pieces of tape across to hold them together so that I can kind of wrap it around the vase would be a lot easier than trying to individually glue the bamboo skewers on. That's just my thought. Let's see how it turns out. So I'm pressing this tape down as firmly as I can to try to hit each individual bamboo skewer so that when I flip it over, nothing falls apart. I'm gonna take my glue gun and start to put some glue down. And I'm trying not to go too far so that the glue doesn't cool because I want it to stick really well. Now I'm gonna place the glass down and I'm gonna push down and hold it for just a couple seconds. I'm going to start gluing the next little section and just kind of doing a zigzag motion with the glue Oops, I need more glue. And just trying to make sure that I'm not going too far because like I said, I want the glue to still be hot and sticky when I roll this. It's kind of like making a sushi roll. And basically you're gonna repeat that process until you're at the end of the skewers. But I want you guys to notice at the, <laughs> the very end of the skewers, they're not like up and down straight. They're slanted just a little bit and this does prove to be a problem. As you see, I took out a little section to just glue that separately in an effort to try to straighten it up. But what I ended up having to do was take some other skewers and just kind of cut them a little bit so they'll fit in the gap. It's not really that pretty, so that's gonna be the back of the base. I had a couple of different ideas on how I wanted to do the base. I could have left it just natural, and in hindsight, I probably just should have, but I thought, no, you know what? I'm going to do like a little decorative stripe around it and I'm going to use Rust-Oleum's Chalk Ultramat Paint in the color Linen to do that. But as I was about to paint, I thought that gap was a little too big, so I'm going to add another stripe into onto the base. I begin to paint and that part of the process is actually going okay, but I just, it's not a big enough contrast for me. Because as you can see from the reveal, it's just, now it's like looking, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not liking it. So I decided to go back in with the Rust-Oleum Chalked Ultra Matte Paint in the color Charcoal. And basically I was thinking to paint where the white was. But then I didn't like, I just didn't like how those stripes look. So I thought, you know what? Just paint the whole thing black. Or in this case, charcoal. <laughs> This is how it turned out, and I did add some decorative, I guess, twine, but it's not really twine, it's kind of, I mean, it is twine, but it's like a ribbon twine. So anyway, I added that around two strips of that, and I think it looks fine, but it's, it's just, honestly, it's not my favorite DIY that I've made. This video is part of the Bamboozled Challenge, and it's with Connie's Nails and Creative Creations and Xana OK at Home DIY. I'll have a link to their channels as well as a link to the playlist in the description box below, so please be sure and check it out. DIY number two. This DIY is going to be kind of like a modern boho type wreath situation, and I'm taking six bamboo, well actually seven bamboo skewers, and I've cut off the pointy end, and now I'm just going to be making a triangle and I'm going to be gluing those together. Because it's such a small surface, I'm just putting a little dot of glue and then gluing it down to the top of those two parts of the triangle. Then I'm gonna glue the two parts of the top of the triangle together. And to help make this a little bit more stable, it's still gonna be, not rickety, but it's still gonna be fragile. I'm just adding another layer of the skewers all the way around. And to the bottom, I'm gonna add a skewer to the front of it, 
but I'm also going to add another skewer to the back. So in total I'm using seven skewers to make this project. And I'm going to be adding some jute twine to each corner of the triangle. I'm going to be very carefully doing it so I don't burn myself. I'm going to wrap the jute twine around several times and this not only adds just like a little another decorative element to the project but it also gives it a little bit more stability. And again I just did this to all three corners. Now it's time to add some flowers to the wreath and I have just chosen three spring kind of colored flowers but really this is customizable to any season or time of the year. You can just choose, you could choose sunflowers or you could choose poinsettias or something like that and just really make it unique to the season. And I'm just adding some hot glue and trying to secure it to the wreath. I'm not using any foam or anything like that. I don't really think you need to, but it is a little tricky to get that first one in. Now I'm adding in that little final flower and this project is complete. I like how this project turned out. I think it looks sweet and I just really love that it has kind of the modern minimalist look to it. You could put even eucalyptus to make it more modern boho and I just, I just love it. And I think you could make like a smaller version, a little, a little tiny mini version, or you could go, go big or go home and find those longer bamboo skewers and make a much bigger one. DIY number three. I decided for this last project that I was going to do some decorative braiding <laughs> with jute twine. So I've taken six strands of jute twine and I'm using two strands for each part of the braid. I don't know if that makes sense, but you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm not the best braider in the world, but it's coming along just fine. The mirror that I'm using for this project actually came in a frame and so I'm taking the backing of it and I'm cutting it out. I'm tracing around the mirror so I can cut it out so that can become the back of my project. If you haven't guessed I am making a starburst mirror and I am just trying to determine where I'm going to place it. So I got the inspiration for this project from another gal on YouTube and I'm going to link the video that I got inspired from in the description box below so that you guys can check her out as well. Now comes the gluing part and I'm just putting some hot glue down and then starting to put the skewers one at a time. Now that I've glued the skewers to the back of the mirror, I'm using a heck of a lot of hot glue so that I can attach that backing that I had cut out earlier to the back of this project. I'm taking a Dollar Tree mop head and I'm going to be using the white rope cottony type thing as part of this project. I've cut those mop strands down to size because I'm going to be gluing them onto the mirror and I'm actually gluing, gluing them directly onto the mirror, the edge of the mirror. And you're going to glue those all the way around the mirror. I'm going to take some jute rope, nautical rope from Dollar Tree and I'm going to, if you'll notice, everything in this project has come from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to start gluing it around the edge of the mirror, just right at the edge of those mop head threads. I don't know what else to call them. So remember that braid that I made a little bit earlier? Now I'm going to take that and I'm going to use that to kind of cover up where the jute rope meets the mop head threads. And in hindsight, you really can't tell that much of a difference in the jute rope and the braiding that I did. So you could probably just use two strands of that, um, go around it twice with the jute rope and it would look just as nice. I decided to give the mop head threads. <laughs> I really don't know. I'll probably gonna look back at this later and think, gosh, Lisa, that's not even the name. Anyway, I'm giving those a little bit of a haircut and I'm not trying to be perfectly, you know, like perfect with it or anything like that. But as I'm doing it, I'm kind of realizing I don't like that starburst sticking out that much. So I go back and I trim those up a little bit later as well. And by trim up, I mean, I just cut the skewers a little bit shorter. And this is how it turned out. I like it and I think it turned out cute. Let me know what you think in the comments below. 
there you have it three easy diys using bamboo and all of the products that i use today all of the items i got them at dollar tree y'all so it's very affordable very budget friendly and don't forget if you want to follow me here on youtube or over on instagram it's our gray house but just don't follow me in real life though because that's creepy bye